The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates... Hello everyone, welcome to the MCDSP YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out how to use the MCDSP NR800 noise reduction processor to clean up a noisy voiceover track. Let's get into it. The NR800 noise reduction processor by MCDSP is the perfect tool for getting rid of various kinds of unwanted noise, such as hum and background noise. It operates with no internal latency and it has quite a natural sound, meaning that it won't leave you with any unwanted artifacts. In front of me, I have a voiceover track that I've recorded that has quite a bit of background noise in it. Whenever I stop talking, the background noise is incredibly apparent, so let's check out how I used the MCDSP NR800 to resolve this issue. The first thing I did when dialing in these settings was utilize the snap function of the NR800. To do this, I waited for some blank space in between the talking and clicked on the THR or threshold button, followed by the gain button. Doing this allowed me to automatically set ballpark settings for the gain and threshold controls on each band, all without having to tediously tweak each band one by one. The results I got from using the snap control did help reduce the noise, but it was still louder than I would have liked. To fix this, I used the NR800's link feature, which allowed me to use one band to control the gain and threshold values for all of the other bands proportionately to one another. To make use of the link feature, I held the shift key on my keyboard and clicked the M on the lowest band. From there, I tweaked the threshold and gain controls of the lowest band, which in turn modified the gain and threshold controls for the other seven bands proportionately to one another. Once I did that, I made any necessary tweaks to individual bands and then added the NR800's built-in high-pass filter at 40 Hz to get rid of any rumble. I also changed the noise reduction mode to dynamic mode because it clamps down a noise quite a bit faster than the default smooth one mode. Lastly, I tweaked around the response control so that the NR800 would get rid of the noise quickly, but not in a pumpy and unnatural way. Now let's take a closer look at what exactly is going on here by tweaking around some of the controls so you can hear what they are doing. After that, we'll do one last AB. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates on mostly broadband frequencies, but can also be focused in a narrow portion of the frequency spectrum using noise reduction focus points. The NR800 operates... As you can hear, the NR800 made quite a big difference on this voiceover track. When it was bypassed, there was tons of background noise that made the voiceover sound very unprofessional. However, with the NR800 engaged, the background noise pretty much vanished, even from the spots where it was present while I was talking. That's all we've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, or maybe even an idea for a video that you'd like to see, feel free to leave us a comment. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe for more MCDSP tips and content, and we will see you next time.